What's up guys? Sophie Soaps here with a new custom video and today we are going to be making some Fear of God Vans. If you guys aren't familiar with them, it was a collab that they did with Vans that was super duper hyped and the resale value is at like $600 to $900 which I know none of you guys are trying to pay so we are going to recreate them. This entire custom is going to be made with D-Nice custom stencils so I definitely suggest heading over there and checking out some of their pre-made stencils and hang tags and if you guys want a custom stencil you can definitely hit them up for that as well. And if you guys are digging the hat that I'm wearing, head over to bycameron.com. He has some really, really dope hats that are amazing quality. And I'm sure if you check the website out, you're definitely going to see something that you like. So I will have all the products that I use in the description below, as well as a link to purchase those products. So feel free to check that out. But without further ado, let's go. What's up guys? To make this custom possible, we're gonna need three colors and they are our sand color for the laces, which is a mixture of gold, flat white, and beige. The next two colors require no mixing and they are flat white and flat black. The most important step of this custom is properly taping your shoe. Since we're working on an all white base, it's crucial to take your time making sure all areas are taped over and secure. This may take some extra time, but trust me when I say this custom won't be possible without it. The next thing I'm gonna do is use a clear sheet and place it over the area I want the lettering to be in. I'm gonna use a Sharpie to draw an outline of the area so I can place it over the stencil in order to cut out the proper shape and size. Let's move on to preparing our stencil. For this particular design, I'd recommend using tweezers and an X-Acto knife to weed out the lettering. The tweezers will help you pull, while the X-Acto knife will help you secure down any unwanted pieces from coming up. Now that we have our stencil weeded out, let's use our previously cut clear sheet to help us cut the proper shape out of our stencil. Girl, when you Place your transfer paper over the stencil, sticky side down, and remove all air bubbles. After that, we can pull the stencil up to remove it from its backing. Peel the transfer paper off while using an X-Acto knife to secure down any small pieces from coming up with the paper. Now we're ready to airbrush. This part can completely be done with a paintbrush as well, but an airbrush is going to be a lot more efficient. Have you ever loved somebody so much it makes you cry? Have you ever needed something so sad you Have you ever 